Hey everyone, Joe Burnett with BigWestMarketing.com. In this video, what we're gonna do is talk about the dangers of opening multiple Google Business Profile accounts. Let's get started right now. Okay, so here we are at Google. I'm looking at my own business, my own Google Business Profile, Big West Marketing here, and this is what we're talking about. It used to be called Google My Business or GMB. Now it's called the Google Business Profile. Google changed it a few months ago. Now, since we work with a lot of service businesses, like home service businesses, um, a lot of times people will go ahead and create additional accounts in an effort to rank their business in multiple cities. They don't want to only get work from their you know, geographic location, the specific city that they have an address in. They want to get work from all over the metro or multiple cities around their home city. Now, unfortunately, Google will not let you do this. Google will not let you open multiple Google business accounts unless, unless you are using commercial addresses and I'm talking about legitimate commercial addresses so I want to show you something somebody actually reached out to me this morning which kind of prompted me to make this video they have submit they've created all these Google business profiles and Google let them do that okay and they use residential addresses for all this for this is all the same business you know I, I blurred it out so for to protect this person's privacy now they're all suspended all of them are suspended even his original legit address is suspended. The only way to truly make this work is to use legitimate commercial addresses. And I'm talking about offices with signage and people working in there so clients can actually come and meet you at those different addresses. It's not realistic for most small business owners to go and spend a bunch of money on you know legitimate commercial addresses. You don't want to use PO boxes. You don't want to use multiple residential addresses. You can use one residential address if you're a home-based business, which a lot of you guys are, I know. But if you start using multiple residential addresses, this is what's gonna happen. You can get all of them suspended. Huge danger, huge mistake. So let's say that you do have a bunch of residential addresses approved and some of them are ranking and things are good. All of a sudden you get all of them suspended like this guy. Well, the problem is you can't go and permanently delete those. You can't just delete those and expect Google to be like, okay, we're good to go. What happens is Google, you could, the only thing you can really do is mark that as permanently closed. There's a setting inside the Google My Business account where you can go in there and put a little check mark that says this business is permanently closed. That does not delete it from the internet. So now if people go out and search this business name and they see this profile here, at the bottom it can say permanently closed. Big red letters permanently closed. So now people are gonna think that if they see that specific profile, they're gonna think your business is actually closed down and is no longer in existence. And if you do get your original legit address, location, verified and up and running, which sometimes can take months, I've even say, seen it take a year, two years sometimes, to get out of Google's black box, to get off their blacklist, to get back in Google's good graces, the chances of that thing ever ranking, especially at the top, are slim to none. It does happen, happen in special cases, but it's very, very rare, and I don't want you to be, put yourself in that position. Now, whenever I tell people this, you know, over the phone when we're having like a free consultation or something like that, one of the things that typically comes up is the person will say, well, my competition does this and I see that they're ranking all over the place, so I'm going to do it. Now, that may be true. You may have a competitor that is playing all kinds of games, getting all kinds of rankings, and they're just cleaning up all around your service area and it's just not fair. Okay, that competitor is taking a big risk and they may be getting, a, getting away with it right now. Most likely, they're gonna end up like this and they're gonna have them all suspended eventually. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but most likely it will happen. Now, just because they're getting away with it doesn't mean that you will be able to get away with it. It's kind of like if there's a bank in your town and somebody robs that bank and they get a bunch of money and they get away with it, you know, they don't get arrested for it. Does that mean that you should go in there and rob that bank as well? No, chances are you're probably going to get busted and you're probably going to spend some time in prison. And you don't wanna be in what I call Google prison. You don't wanna be on Google's blacklist. You wanna be in Google's good graces. So moral of the story is do it right, do it legit, follow Google's guidelines and you can rank high. Now there are other ways to get some rankings 
in multiple cities, but it's going to be in the organic section, the section below the little local three pack or the map section. You can get rankings down below there. That's something we do for clients all the time. If you'd like to discuss this more, you can always give our office a call at 406-493-1881 or visit our website at bigwestmarketing.com. Set up a free consultation. And we can have a little chat and we can see what you got going on and we can give you some, some really solid free advice. So I highly recommend you do that. Click on the link below. Once again, my name is Joe Burnich with bigwestmarketing.com. I'll see you in the next video.